What do these three animals have in common? They are all mammals, but they give birth in different ways. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. Let's take a look at three different ways that mammals give birth and feed their young. Let's start with maybe the strangest birthing process of mammals. Monotremes. They are mammals that reproduce by laying eggs. Two mammals that lay eggs are the duck-billed platypus and the echidnus. The eggs are soft-shelled and when the baby hatches, the baby will find their way to mom and get milk from pores on the mom's body. A baby platypus is blind and hairless. They feed on their mother's milk, which is expelled through pores on her body. The babies suckle on the milk for three to four months. Marsupials nourish their young with a pouch. Immediately following birth, the offspring crawls into a pouch made of skin and hair on the outside of mom's body. Inside the pouch, the baby marsupial gets milk from the mammary glands of mom. Some baby kangaroos will stay in the pouch for up to 8 to 11 months. Some common marsupials include the possum and kangaroos. Placental mammals are mammals that have a placenta. A placenta is an organ that provides food and oxygen to and also removes waste from the developing child. Once the child is born, they will also receive milk from the mammary glands of mom. Placental mammals are represented by 18 orders of mammals, so many mammals fall into this category. Some common examples include humans, dogs, humpback whales, a shrew, and many more. So in summary, monotremes lay eggs, marsupials have a pouch for their offspring, and placental mammals have a placenta. Thanks for watching and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.